number five, the Brown to Rocco. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Waterhouse tonight. John Wilson between the sticks, Shamar Booth, Damian Bins, Elvis Wilson and Kenley Deke in the back four in the middle of the park. Uh, we have Andre Smith, Nikoi Christian and Denard Thomas. And up top, Shamari Dallas, uh, Andre Fletcher with a couple of goals to his name and Javain Bryan who has uh, six goals to his name. Four three three formation for Waterhouse tonight. Let's see what Treasure Beach they have to offer. Carlyle Holmes makes his first start this season, and they have a back four of Nicardo Smith, Jordan Nemard, Romario Thompson, and Ryan Dwyer in the middle of the park. Jay Jameson, Romario Smith, and Corton Wright, and up front Lorenzo Lewin, Jamara Hall, and Shanoi Smith. Let's take a look at the full time highlights here. And uh, this is how it all began. And it was a beautiful finish by Fletcher, who started it off with pouncing on the mistake and then got the return ball from Nikoi Christian. And Waterhouse were in front. Treasure Beach were pretty loose at the back. And Javain Bryan converted. Wonderful, powerful finish from the big striker getting his seventh goal this season. Beer number nine, stating for a fact it had to be him. And then this effort from Lewin was uh, blocked just in front of goal. Booth is ball inside, looking for Donada Thomas. It was perfectly placed. The pass, not the finish. Lovely stuff by Treasure Beach as they tried to respond again. Lorenzo Lewin out wide. And the dink. Wonderfully done. Beautifully placed. Wilson couldn't do a lot with it. And he was up. And there were chances. And he had to be taken out. Thomas, second yellow card shown to the captain. And then here, wonderful work from Mitchell to keep the ball. And then the ball inside to, Chris, to Christian was uh, perfect for him to set on a platter for Andre Fletcher to get his second of the night. That was just wonderful to watch. Waterhouse humming there. And they knew that they, they've gotten their act together for this game. And look at this chance of Wilson off the post. Swore that he scored there. Elvis Wilson looking for his first goal. And that was also oh close. But they would get one more. Ron D. Smith finding the corner. Opening his account this season. Good finish. That's all she wrote for this one. Waterhouse comfortable winners. Eighteen shots for Waterhouse, six on target. Treasure Beach with six shots, three on target, and six fouls committed by Waterhouse, eight by Treasure Beach. 
And the corner kicks in favor of Wardhouse, 5 to 3. Also in favor of Wardhouse, the possession at 62%. Andre, for many times last season, for, for, for the early part of this season, frustrating times for you, but now, back in goal scoring form, how good does that feel? Well, it's a great feeling for me. I've been putting a whole lot of work, so it's just execute time for me. And you've always enjoyed playing in the colours of the blue and yellow water house as well. Four goals on the season, um, does that match your ambition? Yeah, I mean, it's much, it, it's much my ambition. I mean, I have more goals to score, so I have to just work and execute and match day. Obviously, Waterhouse in the last few games struggling to score. How good does it feel for Waterhouse and your team to have four goals this, this evening? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty much good. Um, it's, it's football and it's all in the game. You lose some, you win some, you draw some. But we never hold on our head. We keep fighting until today we came up victorious. Good to see a smile on your face again, Andre. <laughs> Congrats on your two goals. Enjoy the time. All right, thank you very much. Andre Fletcher, there, a man of the match from Waterhouse, their big number 15, scoring a brace and taking his tally for the season up to four goals. Coach Ambersley will be joining me now. Coach, uh, I would say for 75 minutes of the game, you were, you were right there perf um, performing well, Lewin getting, back in, getting you back into the game with a goal, but yet falling a man short and then conceding two goals late, not necessarily the, the final moments you would have wanted to script. Yes, I would say... Um... Unfortunately, with the red card, but we, we, we stood up thoroughly to, to carry out it, um, to carry out a win. We wanted a win. We, we, we were fighting to get back in the, in, the, in the last minute, and then we came out in the second half, continuing the same pattern. But we we lost out in the last couple of minutes, which is a red card, and then afterwards, no, we still fight, but it wasn't there for us. I think it's just a bad luck day for us, so we just move on to the next game coming up on Thursday. Let's look at the, the, the good aspects of the game. Obviously, you, make, you keep mentioning fight, and that obviously is something that you've really built this team behind yourself and Rambo Weatherburn. Yeah, yeah definitely. We, 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 um, we ensure that the, the, the boys are well conditioned properly and they work hard physically, especially, because we, we ensure that they, 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 they do a lot of running and they push a lot. And then we also ensure that at each time and every game that we played, we, we try to change our style. But at the same time, we, we in, in, in put in the intense part of it so the players can get going. Because we know that this league is not a league that you can just come and stand up. You have to be running for the 90 minutes or 95 minutes. And all the boys that are here understand and they have carried out the duty. So we just look forward to carrying out for the rest of the league and then we stay up. We're going to stay up. We, we're going to fix it. We know there'll be good moments for you to come and yeah. so on. Safe travels and we look forward to more inc exciting performances from Treasure Beach as the season goes on. Thank you very much. Coach Ambersley there from Treasure Beach. A spirited performance by them, especially for the first 60 minutes or so, right there in it at 2-1. But well, then Waterhouse, mm -hmm. Damian Gordon and company taking it from them. Damian, you must be impressed by how you finished this game, um, especially as when things got tight. Um, definitely. I think it shows a little bit of a strong mentality. I think we were very good in terms of taking our chances when they came to us and it was very good for us tonight. Taking chances is something that you hadn't been doing over the last few games. You've gone so long without scoring. Well, you certainly filled your boots tonight and a lot more clinical than we have seen Waterhouse over the last few games. Absolutely. I would agree with you 100% where that is concerned. Um, good goals from Fletcher tonight as well. Uh, I think Nikai Christian played a vital part. But overall, it was a very good very good team performance. Two assists for Nikoi Christian yet again. You just can't stop him in terms of providing. And I see, obviously, your message to him about <laughs> shooting um, came into play as well, taking a couple shots himself. Yeah, the provider. Um, I think in training I've been working on that free kick. I guess one day we'll see it. But overall, I like the leadership quality from him. And also in terms of the overall performance, I, I'm also impressed with Damian Bins as well. And that goal from Elvis, that didn't came, my word, it would have been a world of a inside goal. of the post. Definitely. But I mean, in, in, in truth, we are growing. Uh, you know, we have some obstacles and we also have some, some setbacks, some challenges. But we have to continue to work on it. Excellent stuff. And in the playoff spots as well, big three points for you. Congrats on the win and get some rest. Thank you.